And we're back. Our guest on this segment, Ken Busby, a name you probably know very well, and the subject is Route 66. Ken, welcome. Good Thank to, you, Sam. Really good to have you Great here, Great to man. be with you today. I hear about you all the time. And we I'm never, sorry. Ever get to talk. <laughs> I know, so this will be fun. This oh, will be yes. nice. Before we talk about the Alliance, a sure. little bit about Route 66, because sure. I know there may be one or two people out there going, what's that? Really? Yeah. Are there, are there one or two? That would be about it. The Mother Road. The Mother Road. So, well, you know its history, but 1926, it's founded. Um, starts in Chicago, winds its way through Santa Monica. But the cool thing about Oklahoma is had it not been for Cyrus Avery, the father of Route 66, uh, and, his, and his desire to have the road come to Tulsa, he's an entrepreneur, he was a businessman, he was smart. If he hadn't made that effort, uh, Route 66 would never have come here. It would have gone uh, through Iowa, Nebraska, and so forth, and heading out from Chicago to Santa Monica. They knew the beginning and end points, but that's all. And he convinced them to come to Tulsa, therefore Oklahoma, because we had something that the other states didn't have at that time, and that was the first concrete and steel reinforced bridge that crossed the Arkansas River anywhere in the country. Built in 1917, crossed the Arkansas River there in Tulsa, and he convinced the highway department that that would be the safe way for motorists to come and to travel to, from Chicago to Santa Monica. The highway department agreed with him, and there we go. So that's why we say Tulsa, and Oklahoma too, but that's why we say Tulsa is where east meets west. But you know, I have often thought of the what ifs, mm -hmm. had it not gone through Oklahoma. Yes. What about no Steinbeck, no Grapes of Wrath? Absolutely. You know, I mean, that's just one example. Oh, I know. But uh, there, there are so many others. Now, about the Alliance, what's its role? Uh, the Alliance is a 501c3 nonprofit. Uh, it was founded originally uh, by Michael Wallace, and uh, the whole purpose of it is to uh, raise two things, to raise funding to build an interpretive center in Tulsa for Tulsa to do a better job of telling its story and its role in the Mother Road. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then two, to bring awareness not only to Tulsa and Oklahoma, but the eight states and really try to get us all working together with state associations and so forth and really trying to promote uh, cultural tourism primarily, both to a national audience, but even more importantly for Oklahoma uh, and the United States, an international audience. Folks come here from all over the world Sam, to, to drive this road. It's crazy. I mean, they, they fly to Chicago usually. Usually you go east mm -hmm. to west. So they try to fly to Chicago. They either rent motorcycles, Harleys, or they rent uh, convertibles, mm -hmm. and then they start out on a journey. And they come from Europe, they come from Asia. Right now, China is the number one draw for the United States for Route 66. It has now surpassed Germany. Germany had been for years. They're still neck and neck, but China's ahead at the moment. Well, the, and but well another thing people don't know, pardon me Please, for interrupting, no. but we, we, you know, even musicians. We had Paul McCartney in here, what, three years ago? Th three years ago. And he spent uh, two or three nights here in Tulsa. Yep. yep. Uh, at, in fact, stayed with a friend of mine. Uh, at his uh, little ranch just outside of town, mm -hmm. gave his son a guitar that he signed. I mean, yes. and I'm just I'm over there with just drooling. You know, of course, of course. Golly, but, but, but Sir Paul, you know, has traveled the road twice mm -hmm. uh, with uh, with his wife and totally loves it, totally gets it. He's been uh, he's been very supportive. We've actually had a little com uh, conversation with him. He's been very supportive of our project here in Tulsa, and I think there'll be a another uh, another concert uh, in the future. Uh, featuring somebody like let me know. Sir Paul. I will let you know. Keep I will let you know. It. Yes, sir. We're seeing vi video here, the Blue Whale, which is on, oh, of course, yes. the old, well, the pathway of Route 66. Yeah, it is, absolutely. How much is left of the road? A lot of it. You can still drive about 85% of the original road, which, which is not bad. I um, asked that question, and I knew for well the answer. I know my wife and I, a few years back, got on the road in Illinois. Yes. And followed it out back through Tulsa and out west. Mm -hmm. Michael Wallace mm -hmm. gave me pit stops for pie, uh -huh. for yes. hamburgers, yes. for chili, uh -huh. you know, stops along the way. And as sure. we drove, we were struck by the fact that in so many places, you have to get off. Right. But then you can get right back get on. Get right back on. But you saw places where grapes of wrath, scenes were filmed. Mm -hmm. You saw places where people have written about it one time or another, and you saw some of the old tourist courts. Oh, absolutely. You know, that were still there. Things like we have resting quietly here. Right. But we hope, and we hope to, with enough uh, attention drawn to it, that some that people want to come in and maybe start those up again. Because the tourist courts, the motor courts, those kinds of things are something that 
you don't see everywhere else. Exactly. They're not around the world like that. And so people want to come here but have those authentic experiences. And that's what we hope that with our awareness and marketing and efforts we're making at the Alliance that we'll be able to get people to do that. They'll, we'll see some of those mom and pop type operations get going again. So You know, I bought, uh, what is this? I wanted to ask you about this because I saw it earlier. Oh, sure. This this is a drawing by Seltzer Schaefer Architects that we're working with in Tulsa of the Route 66 experience that we're raising funding to build. Mm -hmm. It'll be right there on Crybaby Hill, which is on Southwest Boulevard, which is Route 66 in Tulsa, overlooking Cyrus Avery Plaza, the Arkansas River. So we'll have a drive-in movie theater, restaurant, 200-car parking garage, and an interpretive center. And you're going to love this part, where you can uh, either get like on the back of a Harley Davidson motorcycle mm -hmm. or in a 65 Mustang convertible, and you'll be able to travel virtually, through virtual and augmented reality, uh, oh, the Mother Road. So we're, we're excited about this. This is going to be an awesome uh, addition, cool to, addition to Tulsa. Big and, Harley? Big Harley, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, man. <laughs> you can't wait, can you? <laughs> How far away is that? Uh, uh, ho hopefully, we hope to break ground in, uh, in late uh, 2019, open uh, hopefully uh, early 2021. So Gosh, not, it's not too wonderful. far away. We're making progress. So and it's I can good. see the, 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 the tourism boom. Oh, if yes. you will, because this thing will explode. Oh, it is. Yes, it really is. Some communities have done some with it, uh, but Tulsa is really prime to really make something major happen. And, and it's great because we're getting the Tulsa Regional Chambers getting on board. We're seeing more and more developers uh, start repurposing buildings on uh, 11th yeah, Street. Uh, yeah, so uh, uh, the Mother Road Market's coming online here in early November, which is, is great, and a focus on entrepreneurism. So there's a just a huge amount of interest now and a resurgence of interest, so we're just trying to capitalize on that. You know, it, it, a lot of it, I always give credit to Michael Wallace for this because the his book on the Mother Road really brought that attention. Mm -hmm. Then the movie Cars, Disney Pixar's Cars, and so now one more push, and I think this will this will cement Tulsa's place in our Well, life. I have to tell you, if any of you folks out there are going to try to make the, the journey uh, either to Chicago and back and then out west, talk to your doctor first, and here's why. <laughs> it is a road wrapped in thick chocolate malts, chili that just warms you from head to toe in the coldest weather, pies that are a good four feet thick, fried chicken you won't find anywhere else, and gravy. Oh my lord, the gravy. <laughs> I've eaten gravy in, in New Mexico and I, in, in parts of Texas, uh -huh. but I gotta tell you, out of the Panhandle region, mm -hmm. it stick to your ribs good. You do, and you gotta find out how much of that cholesterol you can handle. That's right, that's right. Because <laughs> it's it a smart move. Thank you. That's true. We got, uh, we're got we in Illinois, coming back through Illinois, and I'm racing the clock, had a flat, uh, and we're trying to get to where President Lincoln is oh, buried. Yes, right. right. Or entombed. Entombed, yeah. Got there just as they locked the doors. Oh. And I threw myself on the ground, begging and screaming and holding my breath and turning blue. And they said, all right, come in, five minutes. <laughs> so I got to go in, the first time I'd ever been wow. there. But there's so much to see and so many wonderful people to visit with. Absolutely, all along. Folks that remember the road and mm -hmm. they're easy to find and they will talk to you. Oh, oh, they'll tell you all the stories. You they'll tell you everything that they know, which is great, but you better be ready to be able to listen. You want to go and make it a listening tour because yeah. there are great stories and, and you want to hear those stories. That is our history. That is our shared history here in this great country. And so that, Route 66 is a part of all of that. And virtually every, every color hat at one time or another was on that road, as Michael right. Wallace talks about, there were black hats, there were mm -hmm. gray hats, and there were white hats yes. going up down those roads. Absolutely. Absolutely. So you may be traveling along where Pretty Boy Floyd you know, drove, or mm -hmm. perhaps even uh, Angie DeBeau. So you got two yeah. ends of the spectrum. You Absolutely. Got, plus you got the Phillips boys. Oh yeah. You know, you know oh, it's yeah. just, everything's there. It's all there, it's all there. Gosh, it makes me want to do it again. Okay, when are we doing it? How about tomorrow? Okay. All right. <laughs> How much time we got? Okay, good. Quickly, how can folk out there help the Alliance if they want to be involved or volunteer their services or sure. just write a check? What, what can... All those are possible and they can just visit our website. We'll make it real easy. Route66alliance.org.org. And uh, there's a place to sign up for newsletter, uh, updates from us. Uh, they can also join our Route 66 Alliance Facebook page. We post there and keep updated what we're doing. And there's also a, a link if they'd like to make a donation. Mm -hmm. So all things are possible. Quick question. Yes, sir. I thought it was through. I got just time for one more. Are you aware of any other road in this country that you know embraces as much history as Route 66? 
if you're up in the northeast and you look at the Lincoln Highway mm -hmm. and go that way, that would be the, probably the second closest uh, to, to what Route 66 is. But nothing, nothing has the folklore around it, nothing has the history around it of Route 66, because it was truly that, that transcontinental rail, uh, roadway uh, that, that is where dreams got made, where, as you talked about the migrant road, it was the hopes and dreams for, for everyone, and, and that is the lore and the, and the reality of Route 66. So that's the one that people know. And in war, a lot of troops travel that road. That's right. Oh, yeah, and, and, and hitchhiking, back when hitchhiking was still done. And uh, serv But service troops, troops yeah. traveled it, uh, going back and forth home and so forth. Absolutely, it, it was a road for everybody. I think that's what people love about it. It was for everybody. It was every man's road. That's right. Ken, thank you. Real pleasure. Let's we'll do this again. Sam. Okay, sounds and great. let us know how the new center's coming along. I will. Because I'd kind of like to follow that Absolutely. development, get some progressive shots. Surely, I'd be happy to. Thank you, Thank friend. you. All right, up next, the latest from the Woody Guthrie Center when we come back.